Hi everyone, my name is Julie and today I'm going to be doing a video about how long content takes to create. So uh, I recently watched uh, Sam from Thoughts on Tomes as well as Alyssa from All Things Books both talk about this topic and I will leave their videos linked down below if you want to check them out as well. But uh, Sam talked about a lot how much time it takes her to create content on her channel, which uh, she gets some monetary compensation for, uh, but she was kind of just talking about all of the time that it takes and all of the um, effort and time she puts into her community. And Alyssa was more talking about the actual video creation process and the uh, filming and editing and all of that. But I'm kind of going to focus this more on each individual video because I vary widely in how many videos I put up a week. I don't have a set schedule. I usually put up one to two, but I have been known to put up a third video. Uh, so I'm going to focus more on how much time each video takes. I am going to include reading time in this video because I think my being on booktube has increased my reading time either because I'm reading to finish a book before a wrap up or if it's because I am getting more inspiration to read by watching booktube. Uh, so being on booktube and watching booktube has definitely increased the amount of time I put in each day to read. So. I estimated this that I read five to ten hours a week. That is when I am in a good reading space. So uh, in middle of March when I was reading next to nothing it was probably an hour a week. At this point I um, am reading, I have like, this is kind of how my reading goes. I read a little bit every day and then I have one really good reading day a week where I sit down and I read. For several hours. Um, usually that's uh, a weekend. Uh, this week it was an evening where I started a book and read till 1 a.m. So that's kind of how my reading life goes, uh, but I would say I put in five to ten hours a week reading just depending on how much uh, I'm reading, what book I'm reading, what I'm interested in, if I'm reading graphic novels and I can just keep flying through something, if I'm reading a really complex book or an audiobook. Um, you know, put that also would count when I'm, I'm listening to my audiobooks. Uh, so I think that's a pretty good gauge of how much time I'm putting into just the reading part of this hobby. But I agree with Alyssa that I would be doing a majority of that on my own for my own reasons rather than like booktube reasons. So I'm counting it, I'm adding it in here just to give a gauge of how much time I do spend reading, but uh, that's like just part of if my reading time is down then I end up making less content because I don't have as much inspiration. Um, I usually don't watch as much booktube when I'm not reading because it kind of depresses me a little bit honestly to see people reading so much um, or talking about great books and I'm not in the mood to read. <clears throat> so I um, I tend not to watch booktube as much when I'm not reading so then I don't get inspired and then I don't read as much so it's kind of like a cycle. I will say like I said that booktube and being involved in booktube and talking to friends on booktube motivates me more to read uh, so that varies but five to ten hours a week. Then uh, video prep and video ideas. Uh, this varies, this could be anywhere from five minutes of me writing down three ideas for something all the way up to uh, two hours if I'm watching and researching videos or doing a tag or doing something like that where I'm really thinking about what I want to include and like I said this is like on a per video basis so for this video for this I just wrote down some I watched both Alyssa and Sam's videos I would have done that anyway I just watched them then I uh, wrote down my thoughts. I kind of re-went through everything, calculated the time, thought about you know how much what I do during the week. So this was a pretty easy video to prep for. So this was probably between 15 and 20 minutes of me just you know doing some math. Um, but if if it's more complex, if it's something like a vlog, then you get into even more time because you're doing the, vil the filming each day, the compiling of all the clips. Uh, 
and making sure what you filmed makes sense. Like if I'm filming a vlog, I have to go back and like rewatch what I wa filmed last time to remember exactly what I, I filmed. So, and what I talked about, and if it's been a few days, if I talked about the book that I'm currently reading or if I re talked about a book I was gonna start and never did. <laughs> so um, yeah, video prep and ideas can vary widely for me, um, but yeah. Hair, makeup, uh, Sam talked about this a, a little bit and I kind of do this too, but I do a little bit of makeup um, usually I do if I'm feeling lazy or if I it's after work and I'm filming a video I'll just go as is I usually brush my hair but that's about it <laughs> um, it's not I'm not doing anything complicated I'm just I might put an extra bit of uh, mascara or something on so I would say like 15 or 20 minutes is the prep for that it's not complicated it's not a lot uh, filming depending on how eloquent I am and how easily I can get my words out that day, I would say this is between 30 and 40 minutes of video. It's not, it's not intense. Um, it can be less than that if I'm doing something like this where I'm just talking to you guys and just kind of going through my bullet points and it's a pretty easy video to film if it's a tag and I need to remember the uh, question, like I have to be telling you the questions and uh, going through all the answers and stuff that can take a while or uh, if it's a wrap-up video and I want to get all the descriptions and the, the character names and the uh, author's names right that can take a little longer because I say them several times <laughs> but um, 30 minutes 40 minutes that's that's about it and it's not um, all like necessarily like the filming it's me getting myself on the, together while I'm filming because I can easily get interrupted or distracted or just have to say things six times um except vlogs vlogs are different because they're over time so I don't know how much time I end up spending filming them but it's usually like a two to three minute clip and then if I mess it up do that again <laughs> Again, varies widely. Um, editing is, for me, I would consider editing, um, importing the video, actually physically editing the video, and then also uploading it, rewatching it, and making sure it went onto YouTube correctly. So uh, that can take anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour, depending on how long the video is. Vlogs usually take like an, a full hour to upload for me. Uh, so, plus the editing and the watch time where I'm actually watching it back so that can take a long time uh, but that is actually one of the like easier parts because you're not you're just going through everything and making sure you didn't mess anything up um, then you know the you, you publish the video you bring you bring it to life and um, after that it's basically not much uh, <laughs> for at least for me um, I'll put it on Twitter, I'll um, respond to comments, and usually that's uh, friends commenting on my video for me since my channel is pretty small. So I just, you know, we have conversations back and forth or I talk to someone who's new on, on the, in the comments, but I don't have to do a lot of promotion or um, anything like that. Um, I guess I skipped over kind of the uh, thumbnails and description of the videos. Now that I'm adding, trying to remember to add trigger warnings to my wrap up videos, that takes a little bit more time, but really I have like a format that I just like copy and paste each time into my video descriptions for the basic videos. So that doesn't take a lot of time. Thumbnails don't take a lot of time. I have an app on my phone. I always just choose the best one out of the three that YouTube gives me, throw the, uh, title and everything on there that takes like five minutes not even like three minutes and uh, add that back in so that all is pretty quick and easy um, but I think it's I mean for all the time that you put in I think it's fine I, I have a fun time doing it I have a fun time talking to you guys I have a fun time responding to comments and discussing um, I think that it's just a hobby at this point. It's just something to do and something that I have kept up with. I've definitely um, had weeks where like 
if so this when, when I do add all this up it's an hour and a half to three hours per video not including reading time because I don't know how to calculate that but um and then like I said I have one to three videos a week so an hour and a half to you know nine hours could be how much I spend on a, a, a like YouTube content creation per week um which is a lot if I did three videos a week consistently that would be a lot a lot right now I'm doing one to two and usually it's like two one week and then one the next week and two the next week because I haven't been reading a ton so I don't have my mid-month wrap up I have been doing monthly vlogs rather than uh important vlogs um and so I'm kind of just in the midst of a content slump not a huge you know a huge amount of content but today I have three videos that I have ideas to film and want to film so this video is already like 15 minutes long filming this uh and I've done my hair makeup and set up my set up and everything and fiddled around with it for a while because I keep thinking this background looks weird so now today I'll spend a lot of time on content but then I'll have three videos and that'll probably last me two weeks to do so it varies very much for me <laughs> just depending on how inspired I am um, how much time I have um, this is also something that has changed a lot over time because um, I fiddled around with trying different things in um, iMovie and I, I edit, I film, edit, upload, and do all of my, I do all of it through my phone. So um, I don't spend, you know, I don't have a lot of fancy tricks or anything to do uh, through my computer. I just do it all through my phone and it's pretty easy and basic. So um, I don't have my, like, I used to have like a, a camera camera, like a digital camera that I uploaded everything to my computer, edited, then uploaded to YouTube. That took a lot more time. Me on my phone now is pretty, uh, just how I do. And I don't know where I was going with tra this train of thought, just that uh, lots of things have changed and evolved over time. And I, I don't know. Like I said, I have two other video ideas that I'm going to film today. Uh, and I will uh, talk to you guys later. I'd love if you, Sam kind of in her video at the end was like, if you wanna make this a tag, uh, please do so, or like kind of like a chain of discussion. So if you wanna make this topic, please do so because it's very interesting. Just watching the two videos that I saw this morning were super interesting and I might go try to see if anyone else did this because it's just, fascinating to see how much time people put into their videos and their channels and their content because like I said it can vary so widely per video and also so widely per person so please if you want to comment and discuss please do so but that is it for me today thank you so much for watching if you want to see me again go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below like I said I do one to three videos a week usually one and two but sometimes three if I'm feeling really ambitious and inspired uh but that's it for me today and I'll see you next time